Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I am your host, Tyrano Senpai, and welcome back to another episode of Tyrano Senpai's Toy Reviews. And today we got a little something different. It's not your typical sort of unboxing and review because we're not really opening up a figure. We're actually opening up some really cool stuff in this little package that I am very excited to be showing you guys. So, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open. So, I ordered something from the mail from a, from a man who goes by Paleo Arte on Instagram. And he's made... Oh, what do you know? The, the, tape, the tape was right there. <sighs> such an idiot. Uh, Paleo Arte, who's like a artist and makes like these pieces of dinosaur art... And I've actually ordered something from him. That seems to be the front of it all. And bam. And the first thing we get is this. I have ordered Sticky Sours from Paleo Arte. The first collection of stickers inspired by prehistoric animals, including dinosaurs. You can find it here on the website and hashtag Sticky Sours, Facebook and Instagram at Paleo Arte. He is Italian, just like Marco makes, and he did a review uh, like this uh, for the sticky source. But before we open this, there is something here, and I quite like this. This looks like a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex still in an egg. Now, the feathers I'm a bit questionable about because we. I don't know if juveniles had feathers or not, but pretty sure they might have at a very early stage, but then might have grown out of them. And of course, we have Paleo. Uh, Ilio and of course we have Sante Maze Paleo Illustrator, Infination, PaleoArte.com, Big Things Have Small Beginnings. I gotta say, I love the art of this baby T-Rex. It looks so good, and the fact that it's in like an egg, that's even better. And I think now, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And get my dinosaurs out of here. Now, if I remember correctly, these should all be scientifically accurate representations of the animals. And there are 16 of these we gotta go through. So, let's go ahead and take a look at them. Hey! Oh my god, they look so much better up close. Oh, wow. Look at all these guys. This is so cool. Wow. And they're much bigger than I expected them to be as well. Alright, so... I think we're going to go through these one by one. And I'm going to name them all. Alright, we got a... Parasaurolophus. And not too shabby, if I must say. I love the... The art style of this. They're like chibi little dinosaurs. Which is something that I don't really see a whole lot of nowadays. Or ever, really. He's given them the hooves like they would have in actual life. The, the colors on this animal are great. We got yellow, black, green, grayish green, pale green, blackish green. All kinds of accents and stripes and shading. It looks phenomenal. This Parasaurolophus has... A lot of detail put on it and it's just so beautiful I love it with all of my heart it truly is amazing and then we got like muscle tone and things like that oh it's so good I love it the next animal here ooh we got an ankylosaurus it looks like I love the red color of this guy and like the darker red of the horns and the armor and the club on its tail and look, got a little Ankylo feetsies. He's even waving at you, like, hi! Yeah, they're so adorable. I like this Ankylosaurus. It looks really cool. And this, yep, it's a Carnotaurus. Look at that. Now, I feel like I might have seen this kind of coloration before, but I can't confirm it. It kind of reminds me of the Demon Carno, except it's yellow instead of black. I like the tiny little arms just tucked in back there. And he's like, you want some? You want some of this? I don't think so. I also like how he's 
exaggerated certain features like the size of the feet and the eyes and the horns on his head. It's adorable, these little guys. They have so much personality. This one's cheerful, this one's smug, this one's like, I am unamused in every way. And I like the colors. Now, we have a lot of color variation in this. We got yellow, white, red, dark red, and then a little amber for the eyes. Oh, it's fascinating. Next up, not a dinosaur, but equally impressive. I think this is a Mosasaurus. Oh, wow, it looks great. Look at this. We got like the fluke on the tail and the forked tongue that we know that Mosasaurus did have. An amber eye, gray body. Oh, man, it looks so beautiful. I love this Mosasaurus. It's definitely not the Jurassic World Mosasaurus, that's for sure. Where it was like Godzilla-sized crocodile backed and all that. This is a scientifically correct Mosasaurus, and I quite like it. And next up, we have a Brachiosaurus, and I love the colors of this guy. We got greens and blues and purples. It's... Oh, man, I love this. And he's given it quite a thick neck and a giant head. But again, this is like chibi art, so I imagine that these are certain common traits that would be found on these little dinosaurs. Ah, oh, it's so cute, too. Yeah, I love this guy. I, lo I love this little guy. Oh, and here we have another big carnivore, the Allosaurus, which looks absolutely amazing we got kind of like a grayish brown dark brown a kind of a blend of red and gold ah uh, these colors kind of remind me of the allosaurus from dress park operation genesis just make the whole thing red and there you go you got the jpog allosaurus and it looks absolutely amazing look at the colors look at the design of this and the horns on the head they look ah uh, I gotta say, Paleoarte has done a banging job with these dinosaur reconstructions and making them into like cartoony, chibi style sort of design. And it just blows me away how much detail he can put on there. This is almost like Fossil Fighters quality detail. I don't know if you guys remember that game, but Fossil Fighters was my jam as a kid. And I loved them. I didn't like the Allosaurus design too much. But, I, but if it looks more like this, I think I might have appreciated it a bit more. And next up, we have a Stegosaurus. And it looks like these two are deliberately made to face off each other because Allosaurus and Stegosaurus did in fact fight each other. If the Stegosaurus thagomizing the Allosaurus in the butt is anything to go by. And it, I will admit, I'm not too big on the colors of this one. It, you kind of got like this purplish gray color and then like these bright blues and off whites and blacks. I mean, to each his own, right? It's still a great looking sticker, but I can't say I'm over the moon for this guy. I still like it though. Oh, next up we have a Herrerasaurus. And I really love the colors of this. Blacks, like it, different shades of green and grays and the amber for the eye. Ah, oh, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Look at the colors of this thing. It's amazing. Oh, wow. And look, he's even got the dew claw on the other side of the ankle like it would have an actual life. Because these dinosaurs had three claws on each foot, and then a dew claw on the on the inside and the outside of the foot. Man, this is a beautiful looking Herrerasaurus, and I think it's my fir the first time I've ever collected anything that had a Herrerasaurus in it. Oh, oh, we got another one. <sighs> Triceratops, and my God, look at the horns of this guy. My guess is probably like a very old individual because I'm pretty sure older Triceratops had like the horns like this. I like the colors of this one. Dark brown, light brown, and even kind of like a coffee color and a bright blue eye. Ah, oh, love this. This is a great looking Triceratops. 
I will say though, that beak though, that looks very long. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a Pteranodon. Hey, I got it! And, oh man, I love the design of this Pteranodon. It's got the fur like it actually would have. And it's got like a moth-like pattern on its wings, kind of like giving it eyes. Which I guess would make it look more threatening to predators. And wow, look at all the coloration and all that stuff on there. It's gorgeous! <laughs> Hidlia Artes, where have you been my whole life? Oh, here's one we're really excited about. The Spinosaurus. Not just any Spinosaurus though, but this one has the short legs, the um, M-shaped uh, sail, and the tadpole tail that we all now know about. This is a great looking Spinosaurus. And I think it's one of my favorite designs. At the end of this video, I will determine which one of these guys is actually my favorite uh, in terms of color and design. But this Spinosaurus, man, that looks great. That, I love the colors. We got blue, gold, green, black, dark blue, all kinds of color on this guy packed into this. Ah, love you. And this is the Dilophosaurus with the facelift. Originally when signed, when it was reconstructed, the crests were kind of smaller than this, but now we actually have crests that were much taller than what we thought they were originally. I gotta say, I like this design. And also, I wanna note, no frill, like the one in Jurassic Park. The one in Jurassic Park had a frill on the back of its head. This one doesn't, and I'm pretty sure this one isn't intended to spit venom either. And that's okay. Not to say that I don't like the Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park. I love it, and it's one of my favorite dinosaurs from the film. But I also like the more accurate one. And it looks great. I think he's taking inspirations from both incarnations, because we've got like yellow and red here, which is, I think, the colors from the novel and then green from the movies. That looks nice. And we have a feathered Velociraptor. Now this one I really like. Like the rusty reddish brown colors, the gray on the feathers and hands and feet, and that amber eye. Ah, oh, this looks so good. If given the chance, I'd probably repaint my Beast of the Mesozoic 1-6 scale Velociraptor like this. Ah, oh, man, this is a great looking Velociraptor. And the feathers, look at all the individual feathers he's packed in there and the details on them. Ooh, I love this Velociraptor. It looks so good. We're getting near the end of the pile and this one I'm a bit iffy about. It's a Stiggy Moloch. I like the colors, I like the blues, the red for the eye, the goat eye actually, the, the black for the horns, and of course the green and yellow dome head, but my problem with this is that I would have gone for a less controversial species. I think I would have actually done Pachycephalosaurus instead of Stiggy Moloch just because Stiggy Moloch right now is kind of a controversial species as we don't know whether or not it's its own genus or a juvenile variant of a Pachycephalosaurus. That's my opinion though. I mean, if Stiggy Moloch turns out to be its own genus, props on him for making this. But uh, again, I think I would have picked um, Pachycephalosaurus over Stiggy Moloch just because of this. What's this next one? I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. If I can grab it. Hey, it's my boy. We have a T-Rex. All right. Now that's a great looking Tyrannosaurus Rex. Orange heads. An orange head, white stripes, a bright green eye, a green body with dark brown stripes. This is a sexy looking Tyrannosaur. I love this incarnation of the T-Rex and that it also doesn't have feathers, which again, controversial. There is some evidence, but this is kind of um, the consensus now that adult Tyrannosaurus were actually scaly, not feathered. 
Ah, and I think he's even got the hand, the palms facing each other. They're not pronated like the ones in Jurassic Park. I love you. I love this T-Rex. I love you. And the last one, this one was kind of an obscure one for me, but I think this is a Sepionix, which is a um, small dinosaur from Italy. And the only reason why I can think this is here is because Paleoarte is, in fact, Italian. And this dinosaur, Sepionix, is from Italy. And it is very fluffy. I love, like, the tan for the snout, the browns for the body, the black, the dark browns, and the grays for the tail and stripes, and that hypnotic blue eye. Oh, man, they look so beautiful. I love all these little stickers. They're so cool. Now, I think I need to pick a favorite out of all of these guys. And it's kind of a tough decision, really. But to me, I think the Allosaurus takes the cake. I like the reds. I like the head shape and all. It looks like an actual Allosaurus. I like this. It's definitely my, one, possibly my most favorite out of the bunch. Allosaurus, I think, wins in this instance, and I'm okay with this. But yeah, you guys, this has been another episode of Tyrannus Senpai's Toy Reviews, I guess. I'm going to lay them out now for all of you guys to see. But yeah, there you guys have it. This has been my review for the Sticky Sores. In my opinion, I honestly think you should get some for yourself. These are really great looking stickers and I don't think they'll disappoint in any way. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these. I think I'm just gonna keep them as they are. I don't think I'm gonna stick them to anything just because they look this good. But anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyrannus signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.